this hose pissed me off long enough. Last idle before I put the Holly Terminator X on it. It's deciding to act right right now. It's still getting it. over the Camaro for just a minute I uh, realized mostly they all deal with wiring I think it might be a ground issue it could be the ECU given that it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't like I started it up to move it to get the Mustang out so I could get this in in place and it started around fine really doesn't make any sense but for example like if you look at the harness down here so you can see some of these spots where they're soldered together. All these wires had to be soldered back together because they took and just cut this harness out of it and took the ECU. Well, they must have realized that they didn't need the harness because you can just buy those, not a big deal, and kept the ECU. But they took and swapped the entire drivetrain out of this car into a really cool 56 Bel Air, which I am not mad about. But in doing so, they hacked a lot of this harness part, and I partially think that's what I've been fighting. So I decided we're just gonna stuff it. It could be something with the wiring, it could be grounding anywhere. It could be up underneath the dash. I've had issues with wires up underneath the dash already. So we're just gonna bypass that all, and install this guy. So it's got complete harness, ECU's there, other harnesses, um, dash is already in the passenger seat, it's just sitting there, I was messing around with it, but got the dash there, one day we'll uh, maybe we'll upgrade to the big dash, but I'm going to rip the intake manifold out and get the rest of this harness off and figure out where it goes on the inside. <laughs> the harness is out of the car. It was pretty easy and straightforward. Just go through, unbolt everything. So I pulled the intake mantle flow off and it allowed me to get everything to the backside. I lifted the car up, all the wires for the trans, loose. There was just two on this side that I had to, had to undo. The uh, crank position sensor and the low oil level sensor had to be undone and on the inside you only have to undo these two wires down here so just those two unclip it goes up and out that hole right there which is right here so if you come in your ECU will be here undo it pull it out there's that hole just weather grommet pop it I did unloom this this is your uh, starter signal wire. Other than that, I am going to stick this through that hole and feed it up here. This is your, you got your power and ground to the ECU. Run these to all the other sensors. Plug it all in. I need to order some new, I need new gaskets. Uh, they got tore up, so. I'll order those. All right, so what we got going on now is I got all these wires cut and spliced the way they need to be. It's all in and wired. I have a couple over here kind of waiting. The intake manifold is still waiting for its gaskets. Those should be here at some point tonight. And then I need to clean up some of these wires, but everything at least functions and cycles the way it should. So if we come, oh wait. Not doing anything about keys. 
So uh, nothing on the dash works anymore. You can see oil pressure is somewhere in space, but here old trusty fuel pump. Man. Would you look at that? Perfect. I think those lights are correct. Don't know. But so as soon as those gaskets come in, I will get them in and we'll give it a first start, but it cranks. I did have an issue with my fuel pump. It's because I didn't run the one for the injector and the fuel pump to the battery. I had it spliced off of something else and so it didn't work. We got that solved and now it cranks over, it has fuel. I think the fuel injectors work, I'm, I'm assuming. If that works, the, the fuel injectors work, so we'll, uh, we'll find out here. The time has finally come. We've got it together. So now let's do a first start. Well, see if it'll do a first start. Well, at least it did something. <laughs> let's try again. I got the Terminator X figured out for idle, and so check this out. Works pretty decent. It's responsive. A few things to comb through, but it's uh, it's good. It's working great. It got battery voltage. Air fuel was all over but that's because the exhaust leaks still idles right at 900 where it should be map sensor is pretty close i'll have to rescale it but that's fine i might even just leave it actually coolant temp sensor manifold air temp sensor it's all looking good